Hi guys and welcome to today's episode of Dermatology Masterclass. I'm Dr. Tio Wen Lin, an accredited dermatologist, and we're going to find out a little bit more about the causes of hyperpigmentation as well as available treatment options today. Hyperpigmentation is a common concern affecting both men and women. Hormonally triggered causes such as melasma are common, but also age-related sunspots known as solar lentigo. Also, all of us may have suffered from acne at some point of time in our lives, and we know that acne scars are also a form of hyperpigmentation. This is known as post-inflammation hyperpigmentation that arises from underlying inflammation. Post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation can also arise from other causes such as eczema or other forms of dermatitis. The most important thing to note is that there are actually some exciting new ingredients uh, in our skincare formulas that are effective for the treatment of these various types of hyperpigmentation. Today, we're going to be talking about Thiamidol, which is a patented ingredient by Eucerin and is known to be the most potent inhibitor of the enzyme tyrosinase out of 50,000 tested compounds. How is tyrosinase relevant here? Well, the process of melanogenesis is what contributes to pigment formation in our skin or melanin deposition. Tyrosinase is an important enzyme that functions in this process to produce melanin. A tyrosinase inhibitor hence has the ability to block the production of melanin and is critical in the treatment of many of these causes of hyperpigmentation. Let me share a little bit about why I'm so excited about this ingredient, thiamidol. Well, first of all, hyperpigmentation is not just a cosmetic concern. It can have debilitating psychosocial consequences for individuals who suffer from it. Well, in my clinical practice, I usually use a combination of treatments to treat various forms of hyperpigmentation, usually lasers in combination with prescription retinoids and a cream known as hydroquinone um, because these are traditionally uh, what is prescribed and is effective for the treatment of hyperpigmentation. The major issue with these topicals is that it has a high irritation potential and many people, especially those with sensitive skin or a history of eczema and who also suffer from hyperpigmentation, will not be able to tolerate these topical treatments. So I was particularly impressed to learn about Thiamidol, which was published in the International Journal of Cosmetic Science in August 2020. Um, there was a randomized split phase controlled trial, which demonstrated that this active ingredient when incorporated in user in skincare had equal efficacy uh, to the traditional hydroquinone treatment, um, but without the irritating side effects of hydroquinone. That leads me to a concept known as tolerability. You may have heard me talk about this term before, um, but essentially it is the crux of our discussion today because while we do have various effective tyrosinase inhibitors that can treat hyperpigmentation, 
we find that not many of them are as effective as hydroquinone, but hydroquinone itself is not tolerable. So thiamidol is an ingredient that has comparable efficacy to a gold standard treatment, but at the same time does not irritate skin and is especially safe for those who suffer from sensitivity as well as eczema. So tolerability is very important whenever you're applying a cosmeceutical. So cosmeceuticals have the benefit of being non-prescription and at the same time, the ability to alter specific physiological functions in your skin so that you have a beneficial cosmetic outcome. But the last thing we want is when you're using the cosmeceutical that you get an undesirable side effect such as skin irritation manifesting uh, the form of redness or flaking. So this is where thiamidol checks all the boxes of an ideal cosmeceutical active ingredient. So in this randomized split phase control study, Subjects with mild to moderate facial hyperpigmentation uh, were instructed to apply two products containing thiamidol. The first was a serum and the other was a SPF 30 lotion which also contained thiamidol uh, over a period of 12 weeks. Um, and the results were subjectively and objectively assessed so both the subjective scores, meaning the patient reported scores, as well as objective scores from dermatologists who were involved in this study, uh, actually demonstrated great improvement in terms of the facial hyperpigmentation after 12 weeks of treatment. To sum it up, the study actually showed that there was statistically significant improvement in all the subjects that took part in this study in terms of the hyperpigmentation after application of these two products containing thiamidol. Let us now revisit the concept of skin tolerability because traditional prescription treatments for hyperpigmentation have a risk of skin irritation. And it's important to note that in my practice, I have seen individuals who do not actually have sensitive skin or eczema, but develop skin irritation after these prescription treatments with retinoids and hydroquinone. So thiamidol actually opens up a new world of these active skincare ingredients that can be incorporated into your daily routine without the need for medical supervision because of the low risk or zero risk in this case of skin irritation. I want to go a little bit more in depth into this ingredient, thiamidol. So it is a tyrosinase inhibitor, as we mentioned, but there are also other active ingredients we have learned about in dermatology that also inhibit the enzyme tyrosinase. You may have heard of kojic acid, arbutin, and we've spoken about hydroquinone, all of these have the ability to inhibit tyrosinase. But the key finding in userin studies is that thiamidol is superior in terms of its ability to inhibit the enzyme, which is involved in the production of pigment in your skin, and best of all, without any risk of side effects. I want to highlight here a phenomenon that dermatologists are familiar with. And it's important if you suffer from hyperpigmentation and you're looking for treatment options for you to know about this as well. So the thing with thiamidol is that there is no risk of it causing something known as rebound hyperpigmentation, a problem that we see with other tyrosinase inhibitors. Hydroquinone, for example, is known to cause 
um, rebound hyperpigmentation if it is used beyond a period of say three to six months and this means that instead of getting lighter, your pigmentation can get darker. On top of that, it is important to note that um, there is no risk with the amidol that you lose your natural occurring melanin. So this is critical because some treatments which lighten your hyperpigmentation can also cause loss of your natural melanin leaving a hypopigmented or even a depigmented area where there is loss of pigment. I also want to share that based on userin studies of thiamidol, um, the ingredient was not just effective for one type of hyperpigmentation, it was effective for post-inflammation hyperpigmentation which can arise from scars, pre-existing sensitive skin conditions that lead to inflammation, for example, PIH is effectively treated by thiamidol as well. There is also another very interesting finding based on these studies. So the participants didn't just report improvement in their hyperpigmentation, but also in terms of overall skin texture um, parameters such as skin roughness and radiance all that was rated positively um, by the group that used the amidol. I want to highlight that the group that was treated with the amidol in these studies didn't just have an improvement in their hyperpigmentation there was also significantly much less skin irritation compared to groups that were treated with other tyrosinase inhibitors. Overall, I wish to highlight that the uh, focus on uh, hyperpigmentation disorders should first be directed to the underlying cause and diagnosis, which is best discussed with an accredited dermatologist. Following which, an assessment of what possible treatment options are available um, will give you the best choice, uh, not just in terms of what is most effective, but also what is safe and comfortable to use. I feel that the bonus here is certainly the fact that the Amidol is available without a prescription and also that it can be used without medical supervision because of its minimal risk of skin irritation and finally because it is formulated as a lightweight serum and lotion it is cosmetically very acceptable and overall women are much more likely to apply what feels comfortable on their skin and hands stick to a good regular skincare regimen. The Eucerin Ultra White Spotless Brightening Booster Serum is the perfect serum to use in Singapore's tropical climate. It is formulated as an ultra lightweight emulsion texture which is easily absorbed and also provides a very pleasant experience. Um, in terms of its sensorial properties. The latest version of this serum is also packaged in a mono chamber cylinder, which is fully recyclable and also looks amazing on your vanity table. Most importantly, I wish to highlight that the patented ingredient thiamidol, which is present in the spotless brightening range, um, is clinically effective and can improve dark spots by up to 75% in just two weeks without laser treatments. In addition, there are other benefits such as improved skin radiance and translucency, effects which are seen just after two weeks of application. Its antioxidant properties are 
40 times that of traditional vitamin C formulas, which means that it can best protect against environmental damage, either in the form of ultraviolet radiation or environmental pollution by combating oxidative stress.